Hey, what's up guys? It's Connor here with Zen Gear, and today um, I'm going to be installing a newer photography roller system. Um, so this allows you to have three different rolls of paper uh, to switch between backgrounds. Say you have product or say you have videos or you want to take pictures, anything. It allows you to choose your backgrounds and um, have a more professional look, or at least that's what I hope. That's what I wanted from my videos. My current uh, place, it has these walls and I just don't like how they look in my videos so I just wanted a solid white. But with that said, uh, let me tell you the first thing you're going to need to know when you buy this kit and that's the material that you're going to adhere it to. So this is a brick wall so for that I needed uh, a drill. Well, not a, not a regular drill. What's this called? Let's see, it's, oh yeah, a hammer drill. So if you have brick, you'll need a hammer drill. If you have concrete, this kit includes the concrete um, screws that you'll put in your wall and they're really thick. And if you have wood or uh, you're gonna drill into studs, then you just can do it with regular, uh, regular screws. So with that said, let's look at the parts I have here and um, I'll tell you about any problems I come into along the way. So like I said, I'm drilling into bricks. So I bought masonry screws, a hammer drill driver because it's, uh, it's like a different motion than a regular screw, a screwdriver, which is just circular. This like pushes and it's perfect for uh, brick. And then these are what else you'll want if you're dealing with brick, uh, Tapcon screws. All right, and as for what the kit comes with, it has um, two mounting brackets and they have si or four holes in each of them. So you'll need a total of eight screws. One, two, three, four. It has these expanding roller things. So that goes in the interior of your uh, your wallpaper and you just expand it with this and it adheres to it or it grabs it and then it has these three different little pulleys that you um, will attach to your paper and finally it has the counterweights to uh, keep your paper in place and it comes with three of all of those so for me I, you know, you need three papers, right? And I got, I only got one to start with because shipping was actually like, it was actually pretty expensive, but I got a Savage um, 107 inch, wait, does that say? Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, 107 inch uh, width paper. And it's just white. I'm just gonna start with white. I'll add more paper styles to this. In time, I just want to do one and see how it looks. Um, now, what else? Let me think. Oh yeah, you might not want to order the paper from Amazon. For some reason, my local uh, post office, they, they wouldn't deliver this size because uh, it's not, I guess it's too long to fit in the white little trucks. So I actually had to order it with FedEx and it only came out to be like, I think like $9 more with FedEx because I bought it from the second time when when USPS couldn't deliver it. I bought it from B&H Photo, which is a website. I'll link this uh, below, so I'll just find it and link it for you, but it's actually a lot cheaper on the other source I found it. So I was able to do two day shipping, uh, just like Prime, but with FedEx, which actually was like 50 bucks. But since it was so much cheaper, the actual product, it came out to like a $9 difference and I didn't have to deal with the post office like going back and forth. Like I ordered it weeks ago and you know, it just, I just found out that I was going to have to go with a different carrier. That might depend on your local office. If you want to try with Amazon first, go ahead. I get it. But um, I'm going to get to installing this and we'll, I'll uh, come back here with you guys and if I have any issues, I'll let you know. All right. 
Hey, what's up guys? It's Connor here with the newer install. So I got a quick tip for you. When you're finishing up the install and you get on your chair, that shouldn't be a computer chair. It should be a solid chair so it's not wobbly. Don't put your head underneath this and immediately stand up or else you'll cut your skull open. Uh, I have a, it's like a tiny-ish cut, but it's, you know, I thought you guys would like to see the blood. I'm, I'm just kind of excited that I have the footage of me making this mistake because uh, I felt really stupid when I did it. But anyways, let me talk about how it's coming along here. All right, so I've never used a hammer drill before and brick is actually, it's a little bit, it's a lot easier with a hammer drill. I can't imagine doing this with a regular drill. It would have been really hard. It like, it's still kind of hard with the hammer drill but I got it all um, together. And if you're gonna mount it to the side of the wall like this, make sure you measure from the top and like um, mark a line. So that just so that you don't have a slight uh, slope for your, um, for your, you know, your, what is this word I'm looking for? For your backdrop. Yeah, all right, uh, but, it's been pretty easy so far. Oh, another tip. I see a lot of guys that are doing these install videos. They mention getting like PVC pipes or metal tubes that you can buy separate. And the thing is, if you're using paper that has an internal cardboard in it, then you don't need those because the cardboard will grip on to the roller. And you only need those things if you're using something like paper or Something without, you know, an internal core. My uh, Savage paper has that internal core, so that saves a step and I'm thankful for that. But I'll take um, another video when I, when I successfully stand on a chair, I'm gonna go get my kitchen chair and put this up. So I'll see you guys then. Hey, what's up guys, it's Connor here. I'm back, it's been about 15 minutes and that was mostly putting up the paper by myself. Um, let's have you take a look at it here. So I've only got one, right? But uh, something to note is this side is adjustable. So you don't have to be measure this perfect. You wanna be close um, and you don't wanna be too close for the width of your paper, but that right there, you, or let me get in the shot. That right there, you can um, move it over a little bit if you need some extra space because I was off by a little bit and I thought I was gonna have to re-drill more holes, but in fact, uh, it, because it's adjustable, I was fine. This clips together, so there's like a little, it comes unclipped and you clip it at one of these sections. It takes a little force, but once you have it, it's good. And this is the Savage um, Seamless white paper. I forget what number I got. I just. I know it's called pure white and um, let's see the mechanism here is pretty sweet. So I'm pulling it down further and I'm pulling it up. This would be better if I zoomed out. But it's really nice to get this stuff out of the way if you need it. I mean, I don't have like a studio room. This is just my bedroom. Get that to focus. Hello. Okay, but um, let's get this to focus. Please focus. <laughs> okay, there we are. Uh, yeah, like this is just my bedroom, but it's uh, it's nice. I'm actually really happy with this. And um, you know, like I said, how you mount it is going to depend on the materials. You'll see this in my next videos and, oh yeah, uh, the last thing about white and the reason I got it is I saw in another video that if you get an RGB LED light, you can actually, you know, have a little glow in your background and I think it looks pretty cool. So eventually I'm gonna get an RGB light, LED light and try it out for thumbnails and stuff like that. But, um, so if you're not like construction or even like handy, uh, I just wanna let you know that this is possible without cutting your head. <laughs>
and uh, um, I'll let you guys know or you'll be able to see in further videos how it looks so thanks for stopping by guys and I hope you go out and take the time to do this yourself I'll see you guys later bye